Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We are going to study in this video about plant life. This is the chapter from class 5 AVS. In this video, we are going to study about reproduction in plant. This chapter will be divided into three parts. And the first part is reproduction in plant. Now, as we all know that every living thing can reproduce. This is one of the basic characteristics of living thing that they can reproduce. Now, what is the meaning of reproduction? The process of producing new individuals from its parents is called reproduction. Even plants can reproduce. The reason? Because they are living things. Plant reproduction is the process by plant, which plants generate new plants. In simple words, if we, can, if we say, a mango tree can grow from a parent mango tree. A neem tree can grow from a parent neem tree. A rose plant can grow from a parent rose plant. It is an inherent characteristic of all living organisms to continue or maintain their races by the mechanism of reproduction. This means that a mango tree will grow into a new mango tree to its seed. Mango tree will not be the parent of any neem tree. Like human beings give birth to human beings, dogs give birth to dogs. This is called maintaining their races. So this is inherent characteristic of all living organisms to continue or maintain their races by the mechanism of reproduction. Now how plants reproduce? The most common form of plant reproduction is seeds. But a number of asexual methods are utilized which are usually enhancement of natural process including cutting, grafting, budding, layering, division, sectioning of rhizomes, roots, tubers, bulbs, stolons, pillars, etc. Now, those plants who reproduce through seeds, this type of reproduction is called sexual reproduction. But all plants do not have seeds. For example, potato, beetroot, sweet potato, rose, they do not have seeds. So, the question arises, how do they reproduce? If they do not have seeds, how will they reproduce? The answer is, they will reproduce through asexual method. It means they will not reproduce through seeds, but they will reproduce through stems, roots, or leaves. The first way of plant reproduction is through seeds. This is called sexual reproduction. Sometimes new plants are obtained without production of seeds. Such plants produced from roots, stems, leaves and buds. Since reproduction is through the vegetative part, means not from seeds but from other parts of the plant, it is known as vegetative propagation. Here you can see in the pictures also. How is vegetative propagation done? First is leaves, means reproduction through leaves. Growing new plants from leaves, from stems, from roots, from buds. Reproduction through spores. There are some plants they grow from spores. Now what are spores? Spores are very, very, very tiny seeds like structure present in a plant. In fern plant, if you see the other side of the leaf, a mature leaf, you will find these spores. There will be small, small brown dots on the other side of the leaves and these small small dots they are basically spores they when fall on the ground and get moisture they grow into a new plant 
More examples are mosses, ferns, horses, bladderwort, etc. These plants they grow from spores. Here is the diagram or the picture of spores. If you don't have the fern plant at home, you can visit a nursery and there you can find these plants and you can see the spores. So reproduction through scent. Take a potato and observe it. You will find there are some small depression or lines like on your potato. These are called eyes. These are not actual eyes. Potatoes cannot see. But these are simply called eyes and new bud develop from these eyes. Later, new plants develop from these buds. You must have seen these yellow yellow buds at your home also. You can grow your own potato. Take a potato, cut it into pieces and dip it in water. Not completely, partially dip. And you will find that new buds have started arising. In ginger, you can find birds, a small yellow bird coming out, you can see, and this will grow into a new plant. Onion is a bulb, and this bulb grows into a new plant. Stem cutting. Sometimes plants are produced from pieces of stems. These pieces have one or two birds on them and are called stem cutting. Plants that are grown from stem cuttings are rose, sugarcane, hibiscus, croton, and money plant also. Money plant can grow from stem. You simply need one mature stem which has one or two buds that will grow into a new plant. Here you can see in the picture how stem is taken out and grown and it grows into a new plant. Here is the picture of sugarcane. Sugarcane is a stem. And if you see, there are two buds. And when it is dipped in water, after a few days, new plants start growing from these buds. Runners. Stems are that run along the ground. For example, strawberries, ivy, Bermuda grass. These are runners. Why are they called runners? Because their stems run along the ground and they grow into new plant. Means from one stem you can get many new plants. Strawberry plant have long stems that run along the ground and hence called runners. Reproduction to leaves. Similarly, birds produce in the notches along the leaf margin of bryophyllum fall on the soil and develop into new plants. You can take a leaf of bryophyllum, observe it. You will find notches in this leaf. And from every notch, new plant can easily arise. But the leaf has to be mature leaf, not the young leaf. Buds that grow at the edge of the leaf will grow into new plants. Example, begonia and bryophyllum. It's very easy to grow bryophyllum. Reproduction through roots. Roots, trees and bushes send up suckers or new shoots from the roots and produce new plants from root pieces. Let us take the example of sweet potato. What is sweet potato? Sweet potato is a root. What is beetroot? Beetroot is a root. These are swollen roots. Why are they swollen roots? Because plants store their food in root, so they become swollen. So these roots have, can grow into new plants. Reproduction through seeds. Plants grow from seeds mostly. Seeds are found inside fruits. Children, there is one fruit which has seed outside. Can you name it? Okay, so this is homework for you. You have to find out the name of the fruit which has seed outside. New plants grow from seeds when they fall on soil and germinate. In next video, 
we will study about the structure of seed and the process of germination. So thank you children.